guys. So today we're gonna be doing some catfishing. We got a uh, pin battle too, loaded with 30 pound Power Pro braid. We're going to a one ounce egg sinker, just a regular barrel swivel, probably a two and a half foot leader to a number one eagle claw hook. And all we're gonna do is take a piece of shad. They got a little bit more scent to them with the water being a little bit colder still. We're not going to use any hair. But all we're going to do is take our piece of shad and hook it on here. If we can get it on there. Just like that one time, it'll be plenty enough. Throw it on out there. Let's see if we can't get some catfish. All right, guys, finally got one. We probably wasn't in the water. I don't know, five minutes or so. Feels like a decent one. See if we can't get them in here. We only want to keep one. Whatever else we catch, we'll let go. Not a bad one. He's talking to us. And this water temperature's right at about 55 degrees. So they're starting to move in out here in this creek channel and pre-spawn, so, or pre-spawn feeding. Um, but that ain't a bad one. That's a nice eater size. We'll keep this one, and like I said, whatever else we catch, we'll let go. But uh, let me get them off the hook, and we'll get back with you if we catch another one. Here we go. Here we go. He's running. There he is. There he is. Huh? Yep. Like a nice catfish here. I'm trying to get away from that other that other line. About like that. Now he's all in it. Yes, sir. Well, besides the tangled mess, uh, you got a nice one, huh? I knew that line. God, gosh. So what's going on, y'all? Let's get to uh, cleaning this fish. And this is a good way to clean your catfish if you're gonna make catfish stew, because you're gonna leave a little bit of meat on the bones, but when you boil it down, the carcass down, you can, uh, take that to make your stock so let's get to cleaning this fish um, and here's nothing but ribs so you got meat up here and then from here down you have meat so what I do is come past the ribs usually with this here dorsal fin or side fin you just want to cut straight down and the fish is dead um, just a little bit of nerves but anyway you just cut down till you feel the backbone and you just want to go all the way down to the tail. Just like that. So you have one solid fillet. Then you want to take it and come in here. And like I said, you have from here down is ribs. So here up is meat. So what you want to do is just come in, follow this dorsal. 
all the way down. You're just gonna fill it down the back bones to the top of the ribs and you'll stop. Come in here. Then you'll get that whole thing of meat out. Just like that. And like I said, this is nothing but ribs here. So there's no meat. But what little bit of meat is left on the actual backbone, you can leave it, you know, wash it off or let it clean in your cooler, ice water, and then uh, boil this part down and use that to make your stock. So once again, we'll go just past this fin, feel the bottom of the ribs, go in all the way to the backbone, and there's no other pin bones or nothing on the catfish in here, so you just go all the way down. One nice beautiful fillet. Once again, go in here. So you feel the top of the ribs and you'll stop. And then you got your top on. Once again, you can see it's nothing but ribs there, so you're not going to get any meat. A lot of people say the barely meat's good. I don't like it, so I don't keep it. Um, I will use it from about here down when I put it in my pot to boil it down to make catfish stew. But other than that, I don't eat the barely. I don't fry it. I don't particularly care for it. Um, so that's simple. And that way when you go to fillet it, I leave a little bit right here on the end so I can use my fingers to grab it. I feel like when you skin the catfish, it leaves like that silver skin on the fillet. And I don't know, a lot of people skin it. I, I don't see the purpose in it. If you can, leave just a little bit of the meat on the skin. That way you don't get all that fat. And then you got a good clean fillet, hardly any fat left on there. This will fry just fine. But when they, when you go to skin it, it'll have a lot of that. So that's why I like skinning it. So you got a clean catfish fillet ready to do whatever you want with it. Like I said, we're going to make catfish stew. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope y'all enjoyed the fishing proportion. Uh, we had a bunch of rain, so fishing's been a little slow. Um, here in another two or three weeks or whatever, the catfish will be in there thick. We'll probably catch 20 or 30 of them in the afternoon, but uh, y'all stay tuned, take care, God bless, and we gone.